Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the tools for knowledge acquisition. In my previous video, I explained about the language pattern. So, in this video, I am going to explain the tools for the knowledge acquisition. So, let's start the video. So, what is the knowledge uh, acquisition generally? So, knowledge acquisition is nothing but the, it is a subset of knowledge elicitation. Okay. So, what is the knowledge elicitation? It is nothing but which is extracted from the humans. So, the things which are extracted from the humans, humans, which is human beings, are known as knowledge elicitation. So, from this, the subset of this knowledge elicitation is only the knowledge acquisition. I think you are understanding these words. Okay. Yeah, now let's understand. So, there are various tools available for knowledge acquisition. So, in this knowledge acquisition, we have many tools. Okay. Each designed to facilitate the process of gathering, organizing, representing the information from the different sources. Means, gathering the information from the different source. Okay. We have to take the information from the different, different sources. And organizing them in the correct order. So, after gathering the information from the different source, we have to organize in the correct order. Okay. And then, the organized information should be represented. So, in this way, we have to do the information. So, first, we have to gather the information from the different sources. And we have to organize them in the correct order. After organizing the information in the correct order, we have to represent the organized information. As soon as, so, this is the correct order of the information. Okay. Now, let's see some tools which are involved in this uh, knowledge acquisition. The first one is knowledge graphs. So, generally, what is the knowledge graphs? So, I will be explaining you the small example so that you can understand about this. So, in uh, like Google website, let's take a look Google uh, browser. In the Google browser, if you search anything, like if you want to search about the Mother Teresa information. So, if you search in the search bar about like Mother Teresa, the information related to the Mother Teresa will be shown there. Like the birth... Uh, place or the death uh, date or everything the information related to the mother teresa will be displayed on the thing so by typing the word like by, by typing the text which is there in the text like in the search bar the information related to that particular thing will be projected so how this is happening by using this knowledge graphs so google also will be using this knowledge graphs means by using the word which we have typed in the search bar by the the information related to the particular word will be displayed as soon as not only the google we have so many browsers like microsoft etc so in that also if you type anything if you want to know the information or if you want to know some um, um, matter related to the particular thing just type in the search bar the information related to the particular thing will be projected so how it is happening because of this knowledge graphs okay yeah now now let's see knowledge graphs are graphical representations so in the word only it suggests like it is a graph so means the diagram will be there in the graphical representation so we have to represent in the form of some graphs okay of the knowledge so information which is there we have to represent that information in the graphical format okay that captures entities relationships and attributes in the structured format means in the graph format in the structured manner so what they are what they want to capture it seems like entities relationships and the attributes what are the entities so entities is nothing but the concepts or we can say simply the notes so the main concept which it is there that is known as entity so, what is the relationship? So, means what is the relation between the two concepts? So, if we have a two concepts, so what is the relation between the two concepts? And the attributes means what is the property of the particular object which we have used? The property of the particular concept also we can see. So, this is the thing. So, this thing will be represented in the form of a graphical representation which is in the form of a structured format. So, this whole thing is known as a knowledge graph. Okay. Yeah. They provide a uniform view of information. Means they will be providing the uniform view of the information. Okay. From the sources. From the data sources. They will be providing the uniform view of the information. 
एंड नॉलेज ग्राफ इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सिमेंटिक नेटवर्क वॉट इज अमेंटिक नेटवर्क आई थिंक आई एक्सप्लेन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑल्सो वॉट इज अमेंटिक नेटवर्क सो सिमेंटिक नेटवर्क मीन्स लुक एट हियर या सो दिस डायग्राम इज नोन एज सिमेंटिक नेटवर्क हाउ यू कैन सी सो वी हैव नोट्स एंड एडजस्ट एस सोनो सो दिस आर द नोट्स नोट्स मीन्स द कॉन्सेप्ट द मेन कॉन्सेप्ट दिस वर्ड और दिस पैंग दिस आर सम कॉन्सेप्ट सो वी कैन सी समली द नोट्स सो वॉट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस थिंग दैट इज नोन एज अज एस सोनो सो दिस इज अ नोट एंड दिस इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन दैट नोट्स दिस इज दिस दिस डायग्राम इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्मेट और इट इज रिप्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो दिस होल डायग्राम इज नोन एज अ सिमेंटिक नेटवर्क ऑल्सो वी कैन सी इट इज एल्सो या this all thing i have uh, yeah yeah so this whole, this diagrammatical representation is nothing but the knowledge graph okay or we can say the semantic network okay yeah represented network of real world entity so it will be representing the real world entities means the concepts or objects or we can say events or situations so we have different meanings so different names but the meaning is same okay we can say objects or the events or the situations or the concepts so the meaning of the particular thing is same yeah and the relation between them so the concepts will be there and what is the relation between that okay and this will be represented in the form of a graph okay yeah the information which is there it will be usually stored in the graph database so it is in the form of a graphical structure so that the information related to this will be stored in the graph database okay now so it will be having a graph structure okay i will be showing you okay let's take a uh, one um, entity which is dog and let's take one more entity which is we can say even the concept also animal okay yeah now so this is one uh, concept and this is another concept so what is the relation between these two concepts it is a animal dog is an animal so this is a relation between this so the relation between the dog and the animal is dog is a type of an animal okay so this is the graphical representation and it is in the form of a structured format as yes no so this diagram is known as a knowledge graphs okay so look at here the what are the features sir graph based data model so it is a graph based and it supports for the rich relationships between the entities so this is one entity and this is another entity so what is the relation between these two entities okay yeah scalability for the large data sets so it will be having some data sets where the data will be stored okay next capability for retrieving the information by this diagram we can have some information so by seeing this diagram what you can um, understand like dog and the animal what is the relation between the dog and the animal so this information will be getting as soon as this is retrieving the some information by you by seeing this diagram okay i think you understand now let's see these example which they have used yeah so actor is one entity and movie is a one, one more entity so what is the relation between this actor and the movie so will, actor will be acting in the movie so the relation is acted in so next one and director directed by movie and movie is one entity and director is one entity what is the relation between the director and the movie director will be directing the movie okay so this is the graphical representation which is represented in the form of a structured format okay so now look at here this diagram so actor will be acting in the movie and the direct director will be directing the movie so this is the whole graphical representation which is also known as knowledge graph next tool is anthropology editor i already explained about the anthropology in my previous videos if anyone are coming without watching those videos so please watch those videos and come to this video so that you can understand about this anthropology editor more clearly so what is this anthropology it is nothing but the study of existence or we can say branch of metaphysics which will be dealing with the nature of being which i al already explained you now let's see what is this uh, anthropology editor so it is also one tool which is used to create edit or manage the anthropology so it can we can use to create the, we can use to create or if you want to edit something that also we can do or we can manage this 
So means we can like simply we can say we can add or delete or we can modify the things which are there in this ontology. So that is known as ontology editor. The name only suggests that editor means we can edit the things which are already created. Okay. Now, what is the ontology which will be defining the concepts? So the what are the main concepts over there? That will be and the relation between that concepts and the constraints. What is the condition? The main situation, the main condition within a specified domain means what is the concept and what is the relation between that concept and the constraints. Okay. Now, what are the features? Let's see. Graphical interface for ontology mo modeling. So here also we'll be having a graphical interface only. And in this, it will be supporting the ontology languages. Some ontology languages are OWL and RDF. So these are some ontology languages. Next. So reasoning capability for inferring the new knowledge. So they will be there is capable to form a new language means new information so to solve the new information problems also it is capable okay and collaborating features for team based ontology development so these are some features of ontology editor so simply to say so ontology editor is nothing but we can edit the ontologies which was which was already created means editor means we can edit the things like if we want to create or we can create the things or if you want to delete or add or something or if you want to manage things, so this can be possible by using this ontology editor. Now, let's see some uh, example so that you can understand. So, this is has symptoms means what is the relations? So, this is one, disease is one thing and uh, this have treatment. So, the, every disease will be having some symptoms. Now, treatment. So, disease is one entity and treatment is one more entity so if you see this so it will be defining the concept so what is the concept over here disease and the treatment so what is the relation between this disease and the treatment what is the situation here what is the constraint here what is the concept here and what is the relation here the concept is nothing but the disease and the treatment what is the relationship between these to be every patient who will who are suffering from the disease will be having some treatment okay that one Next, what is the condition? What is the constraint? Means it is related to some health care. As soon as so for everything, it will be defined in the concept, relationship, constraints. This is nothing but the ontology. As soon as so this is for every disease, will be having some treatment. As soon as so that one, there will be, uh, it, it is represented in the form of a graphical representation. Look at here, the disease has symptoms. So, by seeing the symptoms, we will be identifying the particular disease which we have. Next. So, for every disease, we will be having some treatment. So, it is interlinked. Okay. The disease and the treatment is a main concept. Okay. What is the relation between this? It is the some. It is related to some health care. So, what is the main condition? Means what? Means every patient who are suffering from some problem. Like some disease will be having some treatment. So, how to identify a particular disease? They will be having some symptoms by C. According to the symptoms, we can identify the particular disease which they are facing. So, this is nothing but the ontology editor. I think we are out of time. Uh, I will be explaining you remaining tools in my next video. And that's it for this video. And um, if you have any doubts, please mention in the comment section. I will be definitely solve your doubts. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video.